Hello, Pilates lovers! In this video, we'll be doing some lovely shoulder strength training for shoulder pain. Get your mat and join me. If it's impingement syndrome, which is the radiator cuff muscles, the four of them that starts from this area, four gather together, wraps around the of your shoulder, and inserts to greater trochanter. So the main tendon goes through underneath the small area here. So if your posture is forward, the acromion and coracoid bone sometimes gets irritating the tendon if you have bad posture of posture, like a rounded shoulder. So as a physical therapist and a Pilates instructor, keeping your posture straight helps open up that space. So if you do this posture and try doing overhead, see it's hard to reach further to 180 degrees. So with better posture, less irritation on the main tendon. So I'm gonna show you five simple exercises to increase the strength of your deep scapular stabilizers to help your posture better and that helps decrease the irritation or impingement of your shoulders. Stretching is important, but how about strengthening? So we'll start now. So we'll start with your hands and knees. So when you're in this position, you're already having a close kinematic chain and this is safer for your shoulders. You're using your own body weight, you're not using any free weights. So the first exercise I'm going to show you is cat, angry cat, pulling your stomach in, engaging your core, and camel, looking up, take a deep breath. So what we're doing, it helps your upper back and your shoulder muscles, and blow. So you are strength training your shoulders, keeping it stable. So your scapular bone is gliding through upward rotation like this. And then when you go up like this, you're doing downward rotation. So take a deep breath in and blow. So if you have a rotator cuff injury and you have some repair done like six months ago, this is also safe to do as long as you have good mobility of your shoulder. However, if you just had your surgery to repair it, don't do this yet. It is best to follow the four phases of recovery for shoulder and follow through with your physical therapist. Last one, take a deep breath and up. Look. So the second exercise after the cat and camel is the shoulder push-up. It's not the full push-up like bending your elbow, but keeping your elbow straight and you're just gently lowering your body. So you're doing a scapular retraction and extension. So take a deep breath and blow. So it's a gentle massage and strength training that you're doing on your shoulder. So we'll do 10 times as well. There's a lovely one on your deep postural scapular stabilizers. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So these are the two close kinematic that we can do. The third one is child pose. So when you do a child pose, reaching forward is a gentle stretch, not just on your glenohumeral joint, which is your shoulder joint, but also your scapular rhythm. So always remember when you have 180 degrees flexion. It's not all in your shoulder. The upper back here, which is your scapula, also glides through. Once you pass the 120 degree flexion like this, this is all shoulder, but once you start passing through it, there's a one to two ratio to reach 180 degrees. 60 degrees is on your scapula. So if you're tight on this area, then there's more infringement that happens on your shoulder. So when you go down here, it feels a lovely stretch, not just your shoulder, but also your scapula. So that's the third exercise. The fourth one is you're going to gentle alternating 
open kinematic chain now. So your open kinematic, if it's your right shoulder right now, I'm lifting. But once I lift the left, if your problem is your right, you are strength training close kinematic on your right shoulder. So you're doing alternating open kinematic and then close kinematic. So you're doing a lovely strength training for your deep muscles as well as your superficial muscles for your shoulder. Then you can also do side to side, 10 times, slowly and surely, take a deep breath, engage your core muscles. So everything we're doing is just beginners, so it's not too much for your shoulder. And then the progression is just lifting your legs, help strengthen your close kinematic scapular stabilizers. So you can do it also 10 times each leg. So we have four more. Take a deep breath, each leg lift. You have to make sure you engage your core muscles and you take deep breaths. So inhale through your nose, up and blow. Inhale, last one. And then you can do also lift on your side and blow. Inhale and blow and then you can do now bird dog is a coordinate you're coordinating your arms and legs at the same time you're bouncing and giving you your core and strength training your shoulder muscles so we'll do 10 times eight more to go take a deep breath and blow inhale and blow five more getting more difficult now for your shoulder and if you're getting tired you can always go back again to child pose to stretch and, and relieve the pressure on your shoulders especially if you're in pain and in pain my recommendation is also putting some heating pads before starting these exercises which means if you have chronic pain on your shoulder which means you're having this for a long time, then it's good to do this and put some heat first. However, if you just injure your shoulder from a sports injury, then ice it first to decrease the inflammation. So now I'm alternating with my hips and my hands and then release down. And it feels a lovely stretch on your shoulder. And that's it for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Ring the notification bell for future contests just like this one. If you have any questions, leave a comment on my comment box down below. And I upload my videos every Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I hope to see you back. Until next time. Bye.